Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Artur Zaborski. I am a Polish film journalist and I have a great honor to host Q&A session with Marianne Makela, the uh, producer behind the film The Game of Mind. Uh, hello, have a pleasure to have you here. Hello, it's nice to be. Thank you for That's inviting me. Uh, thank you for finding the time for this conversation. Uh, so the first question for you is very obvious. How did you get involved in this project? How did it all start? Well, actually, uh, we were approached by the directors. Uh, we have two directors, uh, Jesse Jokinen and Petri Lukkainen, and um, they had entered into the world of esports by making a series for BBC about Gamer Boys. And that's how they kind of got to know the uh, topic. And then they found uh, through, uh, in Finland, we have this uh, mental coach, uh, sci psychologist, uh, Mia Stelberg, and they had gotten to know her. And then they decided that we need to do a, a story about the development of young men. And that's how, then they approached us, me and my colleague, Lisa Karp. Gotcha. Could you tell us a little bit more about what eSport is actually? Uh, well, eSport e is a, uh, um, form of online gaming. It's a competitive uh, gaming. Uh, they play these uh, computer games such as League of Legends, CSGO, uh, which are quite popular in the young, young, among the young. But that's a big business. So uh, the sponsors have turned into esports because there's, uh, you know, they are global uh, and uh, their followers are uh, there's a lot of followers in it, so it's interesting for different kinds of sponsors to uh, yes. give money for that. So uh, I believe that your film will be some kind of connection between the physical world and virtual world. So uh, how do you want to approach to it? Well, honestly, it's um, we're not uh, being in the virtual world actually that much. We are following uh, these uh, gamer boys. Um, in their, you know, their gaming uh, outside the gaming world, and and definitely we're following the kind of uh, mental development during that uh, during this uh, film and actually web series that we're creating. But uh, the games are of course part of it, but we are not so much going into the games and uh, of their kind of mechanics. So we're following them in real life. Gotcha. So it's more like coming of age story in the world of the sport. So uh, exactly. what, what is the change of the character? What, what, how, how, how far he's going to be different from how we see him at the beginning of the project? We are following several characters. Uh, we have one uh, from Finland and then uh, who is kind of in the, he has all the talent uh, and kind of is showing a potential uh, to be a very, very good player. But he's kind of lacking the capacity to control his life, uh, you know, using alarm clock and, <laughs> you know, taking the hold of his life. And then we are following two characters in a, a professional team in Germany. Um, I think the biggest changes we can see in our, uh, you know, develop, developing character, because he, when we started uh, filming him, he was living at his home and he had... Uh, big issues of kind of showing his emotions and talking about himself. Um, during the filming, we, uh, he has found a girlfriend and, and now they are living together. So he kind of gained the social skills to survive in life. Gotcha. So it seems that this psychological aspect is uh, very important for you. Uh, I believe that uh, in the world of uh, esport, the pressure and that kind of things are also very important. So uh, I believe that this is the, this is the very important part of the project, right? Yes, definitely. Uh, it's uh, we kind of uh, started testing this uh, idea of play more, play healthier. Because the fact is that, you know, the young, they are in this world. They, 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 the discussion, what we have had is mostly about the problematics of gaming, which is of course too, true. And we are not kind of denying that, but we wanted to find a way to uh, connect with the uh, younger audience through the fact that, you know, it's not the problem of gaming, but it's, you know, how to develop uh, yourself uh, when you're gaming. 
and uh, the the biggest of course part of it is the mental development and how to try to learn because these are uh, team games how to learn to communicate with your teammates and how does that affect also your communication outside the game gotcha so it's not the project that it's the pro or against esport it's not about it uh, it's more about how the character is developing in this world exactly even though we we totally noticed when we kind of entered to this world of esports that it's um, it's kind of you can see it's a quite toxic uh, environment to grow up in so it's still kind of mostly men uh, young men that have entered into this business gaining a lot of pressure and money at the same time uh, they, then when they kind of grow older, they become uh, uh, coaches and, you know, they're still in their 20s. So it's like this group of young men guiding each other in this hugely pressured world. So, yes, it's, it's really tough and, and it has this toxic environment uh, and you can see every problematics of gaming and this virtual world in it. We're just trying to find kind of tools to work in that environment. Gotcha. And uh, do you consider Game of Mind as a project for male audience only? No, uh, we don't kind of, we don't want to put it in the kind of uh, gender mm -hmm. category. Uh, even though our main characters are men uh, and um, gaming still perhaps is considered uh, quite male dominated. But we feel that it's more for the gamers. It's um, the, or to those who are kind of recreational gamers or who are just following it. And also, of course, we're making a version for the uh, adults, the parents of the gamers. So uh, we don't want to put it in the box. But of course, we do realize that it might be first interest for the young men. Sure. And could you tell us what is the stage of the project at the moment and who are you looking for during uh, Kids Kino industry? So we, are, we have just started uh, editing. Uh, we have on board already uh, YLE from Finland and uh, SWR and Arte uh, from Germany. And yes, we are, of course, uh, this is a global uh, story. So we're looking for more uh, partners to join up and hope that the story will travel all around the world and yeah we're expecting to be finished uh, uh, next year mm -hmm. and like I mentioned uh, briefly so we are making a tv uh, version one hour and then we are making a four episode web series and that's targeted for the younger audience Awesome. So you already have like the broadcaster uh, in Finland, but you are looking for the broadcasters outside, right? Yes, that's right. Perfect. Okay, so I keep my fingers crossed uh, for your project. Uh, thank you so <laughs> much for, for this conversation and hope to see you yeah. uh, face to face very soon. <laughs> yes, hopefully. I'm actually now in Nordis Panorama and I'm actually for the first time seeing people live. So it's amazing. I'm super excited. <laughs> awesome. We'll have fun there and see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.